James from Cali. What's up, James? Hey, I've, I've been hearing this. I just wanted to see if you knew for sure. Did the 29-year-old Carmela Harris sleep with 60-year-old Willie Brown, and, and did he start her career? Why are you coochie faxing a 59-year-old woman? Who did you sleep with 30 years ago? And did they start your career? Can you fact check that? No, can I ask you a question? Who were you sleeping with 30 years ago? Do you know who you slept with 30 years ago? Well, I, I'm not a politician, so I'm not no, running but, for president. No, but you're asking That's about somebody's coochie, so let's let's run your so dick facts. Who did you sleep well, I, with 30 years ago? Why is that any... Since it's your business who she slept with, then that's our business now. Since you didn't call into a national, international radio show, who did you sleep with 30 years ago? Do you remember? You a hoe I ain't voting for. <laughs> and you a clown. You a stupid, goofy-ass clown. That's the dumbest shit. You should be fucking embarrassed to call into a national radio show running a 30-year-old fo- coochie fax. What the fuck does that have to do with the goddamn price of tea in China? You are goofy. This is the dumbest shit I ever heard in my whole life. You ain't said shit about motherfucking gas prices, grocery prices, climate changes, a whole motherfucking hurricane in this country. People running for cover. And you talk about some who somebody fucked maybe, possibly, potentially 30 years ago? That don't sound goofy to you? Grow up. Grow up. Maybe you need to get you some coochie. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe you ain't got none, and that's why you worried about who the hell she was potentially or not sleeping with 30 years ago. That's that's embarrassing. That's disgraceful that you called him with that stupid-ass question. Like, we ain't got more press and shit in the world to motherfucking worry about. Are you serious? Goofy, goofy, goofy. Talking about somebody a motherfucking hoe, but you're going to vote for a man who has motherfucking been convicted of 34 felonies because he slept with a porn court. star while his mm. wife is pregnant and lied mm. about it financially and engaged in financial fraud. So you voting for a fraudulent hoe. How about that? A convicted felony fraudulent hoe. And you talking about what she may or may not have done 30 motherfucking years ago. You should be embarrassed, but you're probably not. Goofy and, James uh... in California, if that's even where the fuck you from dumbass that's crazy i can't believe that shit clay i cannot believe that he just asked that question but this is the kind of shit that we have to deal with it's not it's not what i'm saying the disinformation campaign and the chaos campaign is so prevalent against her it's not even about policy the 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 biggest attacks against kamala are not about policy not about policy. they're about who she may or may not have slept with which who gives a fuck and they're about her race. Donald Trump then went through three wives. His his new wife barely hanging on by three. Barely. She gonna get her memoir off and then who knows what the fuck gonna happen after he loses this election. He built he's 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 paid off multiple women. He's had multiple affairs. And you talking about what a single woman did in her motherfucking 20s, 30 goddamn years ago. That's crazy. That level of 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 of, of misogyny. And deep seated hatred for women is sick, and 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 that's why go go get your Obamacare coverage and go get checked out mentally because the Biden Harris administration has expanded mental health coverage uh, uh, in the past four years. Take advantage; you need it. You got some kind of trauma, maybe you got mama issues, daddy issues, you know, incel issues. You need some coochie issues. Whatever the situation may be, go figure that out and get the fuck off the radio with this bullshit. We sitting up here talking about some real shit. We got a motherfucking election. That's crazy, Clay. And listen, not that a fact check really matters, but what the hell? Uh, I'll just say this. When they allegedly dated, and this is according to Reuters and plenty of sources, Willie Brown and his wife have been separated since 1981. So... Mind your relationship business. Get out of people's genitals from uh, three decades ago. It's re- three, 35 years ago, Trump was calling for the execution of five black children. Right. Like it's just completely ridiculous. Completely, completely ridiculous. But it's, again, imagine if, imagine if Kamala Harris had five kids by three different men. 
You got Ooh, one child. dude calling in. Right, one dude calling in about a relationship he heard about from 30 years ago, whatever it was, wanting a fact check. And even if even I, I gave you the uh, whatever the bullshit of a fact check, but even within that, it's stupid. No, it's, it's stupid, stupid and, and it's just, it's what people do because they're, they have nothing. They have right. nothing. And so to call the vice president of the United States a hoe, a hoe? First of all, she was a hoe. Good for her. Don't y- y'all love to slut walk Amber Rose oh. since she's a Republican now. So y'all don't have a problem with sluts. Those are her words, not mine. Y'all don't have a problem with a porn star being pay- paid off uh, by by a presidential candidate. So don't let's not even do the, the sexual politics because y'all ain't even got a problem with that if you voting for motherfucking Trump. That's disgusting. And if you have nothing else to base your vote on, get a fucking life. Go get a hobby. Go, go find some purpose in the world so that you have more in life to base your decisions on this election is going to to be a generational decision you know inflection point if you have nothing of value to offer this world no purpose whatsoever then go fix that first that's that should be more pressing than who Kamala Harris was dealing with 30 motherfucking years ago she got a whole ass husband she's been married to for 10 years now Let's do one more call, then we'll head to a break. Maurice from D.C. What's up, Maurice? Hello? Yeah, hey, what's up, brother? Hey, it's Warren. Uh, how you doing, Clay? Warren. Doing good. What's going on, Reese? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Listen, I, I just have to call in uh, and, and say thank you, Reese, for that comment. It is, I listen to other shows on Urban Network, and some people get mad because of the language you use, but I find it so refreshing that you can use that mix of language and still be intellectual. Thank, Thank you so you. much. I, pre- I appreciate it. It, it. It's not everybody can do it. Some people just do it one way or the other. And I find it so refreshing because, you know, educated people sometimes just speak educated all the time. But as Mr. Um, late Joe Madison, Madison would say, "Put it where the ghosts could get it." Mm-hmm. You're putting it where everybody, everybody could get it. So thank you, and keep on doing what you're doing. Don't don't switch up for nobody. And enjoy enjoy the show, Clay. Thank you. Thank you. Of course, thank you. Let's head to a break. And now, now James, people are flooding the airwaves, ready to clown you. <laughs> so now, and we every said, call he is lit up. He ain't he ain't he ain't hopped on nobody's nothing. Nobody hopped on nothing he got. For thirty years, that's you just, why you he's just embarrassed about. yourself, brother. Clown, you just embarrassed yourself. goofy. I hope, I hope, I hope nobody uh, recognizes your voice, brother. Nobody in your fan because you really embarrass yourself. 